Good evening. Welcome to this evening's edition of the Evening Review Show. My name is Jemima Beatus, your host for this night. So uh, we have in studio today uh, Harry Karihub. He is talking to us about the upcoming NUKWEP plenary session. He's going to tell us what the uh, what gave birth to the uh, session and um, the culture, obviously, of the Tukwen community. Thank you for joining us in studio, uh, Harry. Language. <laughs> <laughs> ah. um, so, Harry, uh, can you tell us what the NUQIP event is about, plenary session? Um, uh, um, Jamima, uh, please allow me to articulate myself in my mother tongue, which is now the NUQIP Kobab, um, but here and there I can translate um, what it's all about. But all in all, um, the Nukwe events, the Grammys, um, uh, it goes parallel, ne? hand in hand with the movement of the horror quest. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember uh, the horror quest was launched by our woman. Uh, it was spearheaded by our pioneer woman. So it goes hand in hand with it. So this event, the coming event, is all about conversations that we as men want to have with each other um, in terms of strategizing uh, how we want to take um, our culture and tradition forward. Mm -hmm. So can you just for the benefit of our group men out there, just share that and quickly go back. Kwai is a boy. The Tam Tisi Hagan as Netrap, they say, Gege, plenary shares and stigramis are one. Neskrang Ibasen, Nukwegia has a kikran how. Chiki King Nukwegia has a how. Chi ra amti amabegu. Angekea, um, Kaisege Sakedi Nukwepti, Kaltiri, Kaltiri, Chitra Disiparang Lang Oa. Chiki Gene, Kaltiri Ranga, Lang Oa, Magarang Ain. Ha, Trike, Nukwe Augaho. Chi Kay Augu Hina. History by an Nukwaku Tipaho, Chi, the Sakadi culture, Hinaran Lang, Wakao Tigran Aisa, Aiska Kwege. So, you were talking about the history there. Can you please uh, tell, give me an experience of you as a young Nukwe boy um, growing up? Um, did you know at which stage did you begin to understand your history? And when you look at the younger generation, do you want them to get to a point? Uh, where they get to 20 years, and only then hear that there were people like the Tunkwen people. Jemima, to be honest with you, um, and to be honest with the viewers, um, I didn't know my culture. Um, I can say that I only grew up with my mom, and uh, as a city boy, you hardly know your culture. Ne? Um, uh, not that I'm blaming my, 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 my elders, but uh, honestly, the way that we grew up, we didn't know about our culture. Mm -hmm. So we only tend to know about our cultures e at school, mm here -hmm. e and there in history, uh, and, and uh, that's actually where it emanates. So um, the reason why I'm here, and th the reason why we are actually driving this initiative is to is to is to uh, showcase ne? and 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 learn our boys from a, a, a boy child what tradition is what culture is mm -hmm. ne? so that at the end of the day um, you know culture is your roots ne? Yes. culture is your roots so at the end of the day people must know where they are coming from and where they are heading to so since you are speaking to the young Kukwen uh, boy, can you also share that again? Uh, Jamila, we are, you, are, you are putting me now on the spot, <laughs> eh? <laughs> All I can say is, um, Sada ke, um, Sada di kaltira chitra di si para falur. Achter kom da kes ke, Kwana da ke, Engels a school kungaraka. Chida kwana Engels a school kungaraka o da ke kwana na koe ha fondasi sa katapma nukwepti sa 
tikal tiri chitra disis duba. Chitka nekwe kaklap magra iyo mapako ira kiza oike nekwe enle ko kiza mwapma mapa ira isa. Ay ba zentras ke tuan ni nadi engal sa school kung ata chi universitets kani iskaw chi pinne akaba Amerika kung asima chi piratiye sa tradisi pa taidi op kine ko ba ang ko mapapta hosen sa pan tradisi yung mga up ama ba kupta kaisa kaisa amsi na magaygea kaisa a imperative ip ko ba chowa chowa sa ko travel yung as kamya hina ni kaisa tradisi pa Okay, so um, can you tell us who are invited to this plenary session and who you would like to have uh, in attendance at this plenary session and where it will take place on which day? Uh, the plenary session is taking place on the 24th of June, mm -hmm. which is this month, which is basically Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts at 12. We, we basically say 12 for 1, mm -hmm. so uh, exactly 1 o'clock will kick start with the whole process. Um, basically, it's taking place at our Cathedral Community Center. That's actually where the horror quest uh, was launched mm -hmm. or when, when, the, when the pioneers started with that uh, horror quest. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to happen at the Cathedral Community Center. Um, who's invited? Obviously, all Lisa Nukwe men are invited. Mm -hmm. And basically what we are saying is we don't exclude uh, the other sons mm -hmm. who, who are keen to the Nukwe Kobab, mm -hmm. uh, who are in-laws to the Nukwe. So everyone who is having interest into the Nukwe and to the Nukwe culture, Nukwe Kobab, are welcome. And that's mainly the male part. <laughs> um, I'm going to get to the, to the follow-up question on that any minute now, but can you tell me, um, is this the first time this plenary session um, is being held and um, will it become an annual event? I know you spoke at length earlier and even in Nukwe Kovap, as you now call it, um, you have also explained how um, how imperative it is to know where one comes from when you go out of the country, you often wonder who you are. So can you, what gave birth? Oh, um, because there, there are people who often say that uh, many people don't have cultures. So what, what, what gave birth? How did you guys, did you, come, did, did you as young Kukwe uh, uh, men come together and decide, let us have this thing? And why did you feel so, imp so pressed to have it? <coughs> Basically, um, to be honest with you, we, we need to take our heads off uh, to our to our Horoquest ladies who started the whole process, who, the movement of the Horoquest, and who spearheaded this movement. So uh, we as men were not seen in any event, and and basically. Um, that, that's, that's a standing fact, mm -hmm. that n men are nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. So uh, if, if, if you as men are not around, then obviously your identity is not there, culture is not there, tradition is dying out. So the main fact that the Horoquest event started and it was spearheaded by this woman, it has actually enticed the men to also go that route and uplift the men. Mm -hmm. to 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 engage in 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 these cultural events mm -hmm. i believe the um the ladies of the um Horokwes, uh, movement would like you to say kangans to them in the mother tongue is a direct to horokwes kwedi uh namibia rondom hade kai kangans tike gera dohmi uh our kwekwe that I'm in Kaiba, she directed what the Kay Kangas Ramine or request initiatives can get to what they take a CK par arose Saso Ka Akwe, she ne case cause a crisa, Ike, CK di tradisip, she anasip, China, Tongwika, 
Mm -hmm. I wish I can Anna a uh, dress now. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, uh, can you tell us, since we, you've just uh, thanked the ladies out there, and um, our women, because in some cultures women are not allowed to attend certain events that are held by men. Are women allowed to attend this event? You, you are quite right. Um, uh, in our case, um, at this point in time, we do not allow the woman to attend because this is just a plenary session. Obviously, we, we need each other. Mm -hmm. Men need women, women need men. And, and, and one can say um, women are mostly um, administrative. Are they, are, they, are they good in some things? And we obviously need to have the assistance at the later stage. But for now, we are focusing on men. We basically want, want to convene, strategize, and see how, how, how we want to protect our ident identity and tradition as men. Okay. Thank you. Uh, um, we're going to go for a quick um, break, and then we'll be right back to continue on what you've just said. So Thank we'll be back in five. Welcome to My Dot NA Cars, your ultimate destination for everything automotive. I am your host, Diana Mosta. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Discover the latest models, innovative technologies, and expert insights from our passionate hosts. Learn essential maintenance tips and get exclusive behind the scenes access to the automotive industry. Don't miss My Dot NA Cars on NTV every Thursday at 2100 hours. Tune in and ignite your passion for automobiles. Welcome back. Uh, now, thank you. If you've just joined us, uh, let me just refresh you. Uh, we are having uh, Harry Karihoop uh, in studio. He's talking to us about the upcoming Nukwe plenary session that will take place at the Katatura um, Cultural um, Arts and Cultural Center um, this Saturday. Um, they are going to uh, talk about the Nukwe uh, um, cultural um, activities so he's taking us through exactly what the plenary session will be about and its significance so um before we went on a break you were talking about uh, the fact that women are not allowed to join this so uh, um is this a cultural um is this based on a cultural uh, um, aspect of the nukwen community or is it just that you would like to have this, uh, this session for yourselves? Can you also just run us through what will be uh, 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 what will happen during this plenary session? Um, basically, we would like to convene as men. Mm -hmm. Some things um, one can say some things are, or some of the discussions are men related, mm -hmm. and and as I alluded, this is just a plenary session. So that's why we are saying this is a main event. Uh, we need to convene. We need to see where we are heading to. We need to strategize. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, uh, uh, that's why we are saying um, other gender is not allowed or is not invited for so now. So it's the ultimate uh, uh, main conference. It's a main conference. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a main meet and greet and, and, and strategize conference. So um, yeah, as I alluded uh, earlier, um, Women will be invited okay. in, at a later stage. Okay. So, uh, talking about it being a man uh, um, event, can you share with us what the values? What are the values of the Damara culture um, when it comes to uh, um, the model of being a Damara man? We know that uh, some cultures, there are certain things that they uh, in the sun. Let's go to the sun, where it's very uh, um, defined. The sun man goes out to hunt and then he comes back. He's the one that hunts, the woman does not hunt. Mm. So the Damara men, um, what is the model? You, you, uh, and what are the values that you would yeah. like to instill in young Nukwe boys? You are quite right. It's, it's the similar as the son, as you've alluded now. Um, Damara men, by nature, were hunter gathering. Eh? And, and, and in terms of the value, a Damara men needs to protect, ne? he needs to cultivate, ne? and he needs to provide to his family. That's the value of a Damara man. Ne? 
basically, um, we also tied in as to how do we want to build the next Damara generation. Mm -hmm. So we need to start with a boy child. How do we want to see this boy child at the end of the day if he grow up? Mm -hmm. What values must he have? And these values must tie in uh, uh, as a normal Damara man or Nukwe Nisa man. So basically what we are saying is how do we build the next Damara man? Ne? Uh, uh, in terms of respect that he needs to have to the fellow human ne? And, and, and to human in, in general. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, uh, it is obviously gender-based violence. It's not an issue that is unique to specific communities. But uh, we do see, uh, obviously, in Namibia is a very big issue. Mm -hmm. uh, is that going to be a discussion on the agenda during the plenary session? Yes, those are one of the issues that we need to touch base on. So basically, if you have the values, if you if you if you if if you instill the values, that respect uh, to to a boy child, mm -hmm. and 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 he grows up with that those values, mm -hmm. obviously you will respect the next human being, and in fact a woman, and this will also bring down gender-based violent issues. Mm -hmm. that we are facing as a nation. Okay. Would you like to say that then a quick go up? Surely. Aroma Sinage Kam Ahaga ne plenary sessions ne can is what discussion in any any uh involves ke ike ahaga usiba kata. Kwebke kariru bao inakuning an man ita e Tai bang uzi, tai so ubab akabani unha ip ip tare kosa respecta ip follow citizen respecta maske enle kai aroma aroma sina gene kosa unha pasa. Okay. Um. So um, can you tell us? Um. Very often people. Um. Uh, I mean, it. We've seen it when the Horogwes mm. was uh, launched. We've seen there were criticism from some, including one lawyer who said, um, who, who made some derogatory remarks about the Damara people. Um, and there are people who say the Damara people does not have roots, they don't have a culture. So um, what do you say about that to people like that? Basically, what I can say uh, is, um, first of all, what what we have realized as a nation, ne, and as Nukwen, is that people completely misunderstand the Nukwe people. Ne? People don't know the Nukwe culture, people don't know the Nukwe tradition. So sometimes the arguments and the narrative is that people don't really understand us as Nukwe people. Mm -hmm. So this is this is something that needs to be changed. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a mindset change that needs to happen. And uh, all in all, what I can say is we need to respect each other's cultures. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we all are coming from some way, um, different cultures. So we 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 need to respect each and every one. At the end of the day, uh, the issue that happened there was regrettable. I don't want to divulge uh, much into it. Mm -hmm. It was reg regrettable, but it was also a learning curve for everyone, whether it's now a Nukwe person or whether it's now another tribe. Mm -hmm. okay? But it was a learning curve for the nation. Okay. How to address things mm -hmm. and, 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 and how to respect others at the end of the day. Would you like to share that again on Nukwe Gweba? Negromi is a digrammy. Kaisa da ke um quen ogahan ke ang uda. No quen di kaltiri ang u. No quen di tradisibang u. Ho ho nadras ke sada no quen da hase. Neske uh neke e incident ke kakasens a hase ke iba dai. Nehuna huda geni kakasen. Chida geni an marida. For one queni respectiza. Tinenke Nedagromi comi 
madi ke gagra sada di kaltir da gagra chitra di se bagra sada di tham kon gagra chwa chwa o da ge nga respecte kabani unha ti kuda ge nemi okay so uh, tell me um you said it will be an, an annual event and i would like to know um when it comes to the boy child do you have any activities lined up to obviously empower them to educate them about the, the value of uh, the, uh, the uh, Nukwe, uh, value system and about their culture and also not not uh, even about that as well but like you've also said about um, being the um, the economic power in, in in the household do you have any activities lined up for that <coughs> mm. as we said this is a plenary session mm -hmm. okay? so basically um, it actually started with um, with, with the attire. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about the attire that is now the Nukwe attire. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about uh, obviously uh, the importance of how to how to how to carry yourself, how to portray, how to use, let's say for instance, how to use this walk, walking stick, where it cannot be used, how is it going to be used. So those uh, morals that need to be portrayed to the to the to the next generation. So, um, in terms of um, the boy child, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that are lined up for the boy child. Uh, so that's that's basically the main focus. Mm -hmm. yeah. So apart from the boy child, obviously we need to cascade it down into age groups. Yes. So so there's an element of the boy child, and there's also an element of 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 a, of a young man yeah, who also don't know the culture. Who, who actually grew up as I did, and, and, and yeah, a city boy who doesn't actually know uh, um, where he's coming from or what his tradition is. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are the people that we want to, um, to involve mm -hmm. in this whole process. I know you're not the historian, you are not the, the chief, mm -hmm. but can you just run us through the, uh, the little bit that you know about the attire? the skin, the hat, and you've just spoken about the walking stick. Um, basically, um, back in the days, um, Nukweb men were wearing skin. Mm -hmm. They were wearing skin back in the days. So um, we, we, we were looking for an identity. And what we are saying is, um, we, we have found an identity and that's basically what we are trying to, to portray to mm -hmm. the nations. Yes. That we, as the Nukwe men, uh, is, 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 is wearing this Nukwe attire. Mm -hmm. This is now our Nukwe attire. Mm -hmm. So uh, coming to the shirt, obviously uh, being the son of the soil, mm -hmm. we have chose that this the color, color. Mm -hmm. ne, which is Beige. Beige. Ne? Um, the skin obviously comes from a springbok. Ne? We are known as uh, oryx, so we have our emblem as an oryx, mm -hmm. so embroidery in the oryx, uh, and, and that identify that identifies us as a Nukweb person. Mm -hmm. ne? Mm -hmm. So obviously. Uh, there's, there are some elements of um, um, who needs to carry this, which is a walking stick, and who doesn't need to carry that. But all these things uh, in our plenary session, we need to identify our elders who will need to have a kind of a session where they need to educate us mm -hmm. on all these. Interesting. Um, I didn't know. I wonder, did you ask, uh, did you... Uh, uh, Clear your shirt with the uh, environment minister, Bahamba uh, Shifeta. Uh, basically, um, the skin is being sold uh, nationwide. Yeah. Uh, and, and obviously, we know for sure that uh, uh, if you go now to Nakara, yeah. you will get the skin at Nakara. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my first question will be ne, before approaching us, we need to approach Nakara because we are getting the skin. I hope Nakara is going to give you some uh, free, uh, um, <laughs> free, free skins. Sure. 
I um, hope, I, I hope I don't. For the advertising, you just give them. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't put people on the spot, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but there are local people out there selling the Springbok yeah. uh, 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 skin so uh, sustainably. Our, mm, our idea is not to go and uh, go and uh, go and kill the animals to get the skin, but uh, obviously we are getting it through the normal procedures, which is which is which is through the normal retail shops. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. We're very enlightening conversation. So um, you can also say goodbye to our audience in Nukwegwewa. Me daniske neda gohogu kumi. Fire donas des e. Kam lisi hagan as e. Ne sadrate kege ne eventa unga. Dual fira twa twa for ien irti dani mise. So. Huap tak kira, orang yang kau awak ke, laban yang masa, cik ni amci ama begusa, kau ayos. Nak kau ayos? Thank you very much for joining us. Have a good evening.